called the Hercules, named after the most popular god of Greek mythology, famous for his incredible strength and courage, renowned for accomplishing a multitude of difficult feats. The aircraft has lived up to the reputation of its name in power, versatility, and achieving the difficult. Designed as a tactical transport able to operate from anywhere on Earth, it early showed strategic capabilities as well. It's the most widely used military transport today. The story of the C-130 starts with the A model, first used by the Air Force in 1956. It proved itself on both short-haul missions, supporting ground troops in the field, and on the long-range jobs, lifting heavy cargoes across the oceans. The shape and dimensions haven't changed through the years. It's just under 100 feet long, with a low-slung body. The tip of the vertical stabilizer is nearly 40 feet high, and the wingspan is more than 130 feet. The manufacturer produced over 200 of this successful first version, and many are still in use by the Air Force. On the ground, the A model is easily recognized by its three-bladed propeller. Beginning with the B model, a four-bladed prop was used. Modifications and improvements over the earlier version included more powerful engines, greater fuel capacity and range, and a bigger payload. This aircraft, like its predecessor, had a forward cargo door, which is no longer used. Many of the B model 130s remain in service as part of the Air Force's active cargo fleet, proving their reliability in daily service. This is the Hercules of the 1960s, the E model. E for extended range. As good as the earlier ones were, and still are, this one is even better. The greater distance is largely due to the new 1,400 gallon tank under each wing. With a single refueling stop, the aircraft can carry 13 tons of cargo from the United States to Japan against a 50-knot headwind. Across the Atlantic, it'll haul 16 tons non-stop, and it needs only a minimum of runway, especially for an assisted takeoff like this. Its four turboprop engines give the Hercules unique power and dependability. This E-model has been called the most versatile and reliable medium transport aircraft in America. The engines operate at constant speed, which provides instant power response and simplifies the control of other aircraft systems. The flight controls are all hydraulically boosted for easy handling. The Hercules can carry passengers, paratroops, or cargo anywhere, land on a paved runway or in a cleared field, and come to a stop in just 800 feet, aided by its anti-skid system and fully reversible props. Anti-skid means the pilot can brake as hard as he likes without danger of the brakes locking. And fully reversible props means this airplane can do the extraordinary. It can back up. There are many features that make the Hercules easy to work with, no matter what your job. Cargo loading is through the wide opening in the tail section. ramp can be locked at any convenient position for the job at hand. Level, it's at truck bed height, about three feet off the ground. The compartment at its smallest point is nine feet high by 10 feet wide, and its length is 41 feet. Tie-down points are provided throughout on the sides and floor. An additional 5,000 pounds of cargo may be strapped to the ramp before it is closed. Here are some of the loading configurations of the aircraft. For various cargo delivery techniques, these dual rail tracks can be installed. Seats can be arranged like this to accommodate passengers or to carry nearly a hundred combat-equipped soldiers. 
With a wider seat belt spacing, the aircraft becomes a paratroop carrier with space for 64 men. Another change, and Hercules is ready for an air evac mission, transporting 74 litter patients and two attendants. In use, the aircraft is adaptable to every kind of circumstance, environment, and climate. Small cargo can be loaded on and off by hand. Vehicles can drive up and down the ramp under their own power. Even transporting a helicopter is no great challenge for the C-130. But the most modern cargo handling technique is the system known as 463L. With it, a full 15 and a half ton load can be handled in minutes. Wherever our armed forces may need to go to fight the country's battles, the Hercules can be there, bringing in the men, their equipment, and their supplies. Using incredibly short distances for landing and takeoff, it can operate on totally unprepared strips. It can deliver its payload in any of a half a dozen different ways. On the ground. Parachute drops from altitude for men. And for equipment. And even for animals. Low-level parachute extraction. The pendulum technique. Snatch method, with the aircraft almost touching down but never stopping. For rescue, a special version of the Hercules can pick up a man right off the ground. Skyhook, they call it. The C-130 can operate nearly anywhere on Earth. In the heat of Africa, delivering materials for a remote tracking station of the Gemini Man in Space program. In faraway Thailand, bringing in passengers from a Mercy airlift. Over the Greenland ice cap transporting men and equipment for the construction of distant early warning radar stations in the far north. With the Navy on skis, the largest aircraft ever to operate at the South Pole, the first aircraft ever to land at isolated bird stations. Operating aboard an aircraft carrier at sea, without the benefit of arresting gear or catapult. Other uses of the Hercules are almost without number. The Air Force has put it to work launching and guiding target drones. As an airborne command post, a communications center. For aerial electronic photo mapping and the recovery of nose cones.
The Coast Guard uses it for search and rescue missions, sometimes cruising for great distances on just two engines. And the Marine Corps has adapted it for in-flight refueling. Today, the air forces of several foreign nations are using the Hercules. So are private companies and airlines. Hercules, a proud aircraft with a proven record. You've seen how versatile and capable an aircraft it is. A whole team of men is needed to fly it and to keep it flying. Not just pilots and navigators, but flight mechanics, loadmasters, and maintenance men. If you become part of that team, you will be helping to write the future record of Hercules.